in our previous video we uh, saw how we can uh, remote develop using it jet brains projector but in this video let's see how we can do the same uh, using gateway gateway is uh, more data and performance efficient than projector because it is the recommended way of uh, remote development using gen brains ideas but uh, the only advantage of projector over gateway is that uh, you can't uh, use gateway open the remote id in a browser so uh, that's the only advantage projector has over uh, gateway so if you are developing uh, on your local machine uh, from a cloud server you will normally use gateway let's see how we can use gateway for remote development here so i'm going to create a linux instance using aws you can use any cloud server you can uh, use any server that you have hosted yourself so i select one c44x large instance so it's sufficient for my work and i will keep these settings as it is and i will add uh, 100 db storage so i will need space for my code and next and configure security groups i will create a new one uh, to be more secure i will use only my ip address to connect to this and i will say review and launch and i will launch this one so i already have a key pair so demo you can always create a new key pair and download it i acknowledge that i have access to the current responding private key file and then i will launch the instance once the instance has been launched so meanwhile while the instance is launching i will uh, copy my public IP address this is what I will need to access this machine so it's running I will be using gateway install using JetBrains toolbox so it's easy to install you can download the version you, you want and then you can install it quite easily and then I, I will open this uh, toolbox and from the toolbox I will open JetBrains gateway you can uh, search for the gateway here and install it so I will open this here so when it once it has opened you can see the, you can it's very easy so you can go to SSH if you are using JetBrains space you can use that but i'll be using ssh so i can go to new connection so username for uh, amazon linux 2 is easy to use so you can find the username for your machine if you are using any other images you can find it by searching it online i will specify a private key and I will it's this is my location and I will open it Let's check connection the yeah yes I want to connect to this and I want to uh, create a project directory so this is a new machine so I don't have a project directory so I can SSH into a directory you here I have netty so I will uh, copy and then I will clone it I have to install git before I can clone this one so I will sudo yum install git so this will install git on my machine so I will say yes once I have installed git I can clone my project so I might also have to install Java to run netty but uh, I will skip that step for now you can do it for your own project uh, 
so I have cloned it I can close the terminal so proje project so you, I will be using IntelliJ you can choose any of the IDs you want and I will select the project folder so it's on my home and easy to use a netty I will select I will download and st install the IDE so we have uh, a netty opened in IntelliJ it's so easy and it's very convenient uh, com com so compared to projector this is very fast and very easy to use I hope you will enjoy this ID by JetBrains. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.